Hello, and welcome back, or perhaps for the first time, to Black Jade Island. For those of you who don't know, Black Jade is my hard mode island. Hard mode is a special set of rules created by Nintendogs to make the game just a little bit more challenging. And today, we face the greatest challenge Black Jade has ever had to face. Bunny Day. This is the culmination of all of our hard work over the week. All of those eggs, all of that crafting, and what was our reward? Well, you'll just have to wait and see. I have daily tasks that I must do. But before that, I feel the need to justify myself. I know that you're only allowed to wear shirts and dresses that you design yourself, and I've been mostly holding to that. I've been making exceptions for the label quest, after which I tossed the shirts that I used into the trash, but this is another exception that I'm making. I want to dress up for the holidays. I want to- No. I deserve to feel cute on this day of all days, and you cannot stop me. I started my day by checking my mail. Somehow I managed to pull out an S rank despite my living room. I'm assuming it's because I have a full set of bunny day furniture and it gave me enough points to boost me up. So that's convenient. I went to take care of my crops and somehow my carrots didn't grow in a bunch of three. I'm, I'm honestly not sure how this happened since I water them every morning, but the rules say I can't keep them, so I tossed them out. I got an achievement for getting that S rank from the HHA, which confused me because I already got one a few weeks ago. I guess I didn't have a big enough house for it to count back then? Who knows. I consciously ignored Zipper as I ran down to the airport so I could get my fortune told by Katrina. I did my stretches and noticed that Daisy Mae was also on my island. For some reason I didn't think she would turn up on Bunny Day. Obviously she did, so I had to track her down. But first I got some new reactions. Each of the stretches we do every day is its own reaction. I didn't know that this could happen, so that was fun. Right, back to hunting. I did eventually manage to track her down and she was selling them for 95 bells each. I bought five. One of my daily tasks was to go diving, so I hopped into the ocean. I only grabbed enough to satisfy my phone, I just wasn't feeling it today, you know? While I was fossil hunting, I ended up filling up my pockets. I swapped it out with a gyroid fragment that I had, and it felt very efficient at the time. It was time to make my purchases. As cool as I think the black cello is, it was way too expensive for me, so I bought this cartoonist set instead. At the Able Sisters, I bought this little crown and stopped to make my shirt for the week. It's not my favorite design in the world, but I like the color palette that I used. I checked my fossils, no new ones unfortunately, but that was the last thing I needed to do to cross off my 2 times miles tasks for the day. I grabbed some coffee to bolster my spirits enough to go deal with my hated enemy, Zipper T. Bunny. He gave me the last recipe I needed. I was just shy of having enough eggs to craft it, so I went to go gather them, only to break both my axe and my slingshot, so I added those to the list of things that I needed to craft as well. Once I was done with that, I was back to Zipper and he gave me the wobbling zipper toy recipe. I had some more eggs in my storage, so I grabbed those so I could craft this recipe as well, and wouldn't you know it, he gave me another crafting recipe. At least he's aware of how useless this reward is. I think that the magic wands are a cool concept, but I never end up using them in practice. If I want to change my outfit, I don't need a special tool taking up my precious inventory space to do it. I can just go to one of the wardrobes in my house, you know? I started the day by taking care of my crops. I stopped by Nook's Cranny and there was a standing piano, something I've been trying to get since I got the recipe for a street piano back in my second week. It was a bit pricey, so I couldn't buy it right away, but I was determined to get my hands on one before the day was over. Because Saturday was the fishing tournament and then Sunday was bunny day, poor KK Slider had to postpone his concert until Monday. So he's my NPC quest for the day. Since I can't do anything with him until tonight, I mostly just ignored him. I finally got around to changing out my bunny day outfit, which I shoved into my closet to collect dust until next year's bunny day. I checked the hot items and sauna heaters were on the list. From what I understand, crafted items sell for two times the price of the materials that go into it, which is why iron items seem to sell for so much more than the wooden ones. Hot items sell for even more than that, so I crafted a bunch of sauna heaters to make enough money to buy my piano and make some purchases at the Able Sisters. I ran to get my fortune told and then stopped to get my stretches in. 
Then it was time for me to worry about my two times miles tasks. I had the misfortune to pull another catch and oar fish task. I ran up and down the beaches for a half an hour but didn't manage to pull up a single one, so I stopped to do some terraforming. I have a vision for what I want to do with my house, and I just wanted to make sure that I could actually do it. This isn't exactly how I want it to look, but you know, I have to work within the limitations of the game here. While I was taking my break, I checked my fossils and got some coffee. Cap'n also came by to get some coffee as well. A bit weird to see him outside of his boat. My spirits bolstered, I went back to hunting for oarfish. 10,000 bells fell from the sky, but I couldn't even find any shadows big enough to be an oarfish after a while. It was all just medium and small fish in the ocean. I suppose I could have tried crafting some bait and rolling the dice on that, but after the tuna... I crossed off the other four Nook Miles tasks before having to stop recording because I had to go to work in real life. After work, I came back to enjoy my KK Slider concert and went back to hunting for oarfish. And I, I didn't manage to find one. My carrots came in correctly today, which was nice. Not sure what happened to the last carrot harvest. Is there a random chance that your crops can come in smaller bunches, or did I accidentally miss watering that row in particular at one point? The world will never know. Admiral, our previous pumpkin keeper, has returned to visit his pumpkin patch. You gotta admire his dedication. I finally got my first purple rose for my massive white roses. I'm using the Astoration Gene Pool method to try and get the blue rose. It's supposed to be one of the faster methods, but as you can see, faster does not necessarily mean fast. I quarantined the purple rose over here and will continue trying to fish up more to speed up the process once I finally start getting my black roses in. Flake was on my island and one of my two times miles tasks was to catch five bugs. I think the game might be trying to tell me something. So I did some stretching. I grabbed some of the bugs that I've been keeping in bug jail and went to find Flick. I had a bunch of long locusts in my pocket so I decided to commission him to make me a long locust collectible this time. Speaking of commissions, if you'll allow me the indulgence of shamelessly advertising for a moment, starting on the day this is uploaded I will be running a sale on my own commissions until the end of April. Link in the description. Back to our regularly scheduled me telling you about my day. I got my fortune told, went home to do some cooking, and changed my outfit. I took this very stylish picture of my wardrobe. I used a filter so it's artistic, you see? This is the first time I've been able to turn the camera in first person. I'm not sure why I can do it this time, but not others. Maybe it has something to do with me being inside this time, because the other times I've tried to do it, I was outside. This will require more experimentation, or I could just Google it. Eh, the first one seems more fun. Anyway, taking a picture was my last two times miles task, so I crossed that one off my list. Next up was making my purchases, followed by checking my fossils and getting some coffee. Still no new fossils, and sadly I haven't found any duplicates that would help me fill out my Megazord either. I only need a few, but they're just not showing up for me. I finished the day off by hunting for more bugs to sell to Flick. I started my day by watering my crops and checked my two times miles tasks for the day. I was initially very upset to see that I had another catch a specific type of fish quest. I thought I would have to hunt down another oar fish or a tuna and I simply did not have the time. But it was just a zebra turkey fish. Those are super common. That's fine. It was fine. I went over to Harv's Island. First I decided to buy Red Spot in the co-op. I was a little surprised that there were already donations. I guess it makes sense that the other people in the co-op would donate like your villagers do, but somehow I didn't think they actually would. While I was on the island, I bought some carrot and potato starts for Admiral. I figured since he was so attached to his pumpkins, I would give him a couple crops to have by his new house. I finished my visit by getting my fortune told and headed back to Black Jade. Since I was planning on doing some decorating anyway, I made some fencing to put by Eugene's house. I want to put more decorations out here, but I don't really know what just yet. It's fine enough to leave it for now. I checked my fossils and got some coffee, then it was time for Fashion Quest. Label gave me a samurai shirt and told me to make a theatrical outfit. Instead of figuring out what I was going to do with that, I stopped by Nook's Cranny. They were buying turnips for 100 bells a turnip, which was very encouraging to me. I figured if I waited a bit, the price would go up even more, so I held off on selling them. 
I bought this crane game that I have no idea what I'm going to do with, and this big die that I only bought because I found the dialogue box very funny. I turned my attention back to Fashion Quest. There was just no making the samurai outfit work today, so I bought this tuxedo dress that I'm honestly devastated that I can't wear regularly. I ran off to my house to complete the outfit. I thought I had the black version of these heels, but it turns out I only have the purple ones, so I settled for these wingtip shoes. Label liked my outfit enough to give me a dress I can't wear. I did some stretches about it. I changed back into my regular clothes. I kinda took a big swing with these blue tights, but when I actually put the shirt on, I realized how hideous they look together. So I wanted to change again, but Diana chose that moment to invite herself over. I decided to fix my outfit before going to answer the door. Diana gave me some pairs and I decided to experiment a little today. I parked it on a chair and in real life wandered away to go do my dishes. I figured that by the time I got back, Diana would have gotten bored and would want to leave. While I was away, my switch started to go dark and threatened to go to sleep. For some reason, I didn't consider that this would come through on the recording, so this was a fun experiment for me. I learned a lot. Once my dishes were clean, I came back and got off the chair and Diana immediately asked to leave. My hypothesis is that the dialogue can't trigger if the player is sitting down. So I was the one holding her hostage for a change. Ha 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 ha! Norma once again invited me over to her house. She didn't offer to sell me any of her furniture, even though I was being very annoying. I amused myself by noticing that she mentioned a different dessert every time she brought up wishing she had made snacks before I came over. Eventually, I gave up and left. I had a weirdly difficult time catching a zebra turkey fish. I'm starting to think that the game cuts the chances of catching a specific fish if it's the one that the 2 times miles task is asking for. Or perhaps I'm just getting really unlucky. I noticed Kid and Sparrow were chatting in my plaza while I was heading over to the other side of the island to try my luck there. Every time I see one of these large shadows in the river, I stop to catch it, hoping it will be something other than a black bass. It never is, but I always try, and I'm always disappointed. Somehow, I managed to catch the zebra turkey fish and was able to satisfy my 2 times miles tasks and call it a day. Isabel announced that we were going to have shooting stars tonight, which was very exciting for me. Maybe this time I'll actually meet with Celeste. I watered my crops. We got another catch a specific kind of fish task. This time the game wanted me to catch an olive flounder. Easy, I thought. I catch like four of those a day. I've got this in the bag, I thought. I went to check the turnip prices and they were down to 55 bells a pop. What the heck? I'm devastated. Not only did they cut the turnip prices almost in half, the Nooklings weren't even selling anything I wanted or didn't already have. The hot items were wild log benches and brick ovens, which was pretty exciting for me. The brick ovens seemed like they would be pretty good money makers. Patty had a thought bubble over her head, but wouldn't tell me why. Apparently it was a big secret. I've never seen that type of thought bubble before, but as long as she's not trying to move out, I guess it's fine. Gullivar was on my island. That was thunder. I wonder if that's going to come through on the recording. Well, whatever. Gullivar was on my island. I've heard that you can wake him and regular Gulliver up by hitting them with your net repeatedly, so I gave it a shot. It turns out that it does actually work, so that's neat. I put finding his phone on the back burner because I had other stuff I wanted to take care of. Starting with doing my daily stretches. I visited Kid and he was wearing my egg shirt, but the color was uncomfortably close to the color of his fur, so at first I thought I had a weird glitch where he was just naked, but it's fine. He just has terrible fashion sense. I checked my fortune, went diving for Gullivar's bone once I got back to my island, as well as a lobster. Then it was time to go fishing. I ended up catching a bunch of the wrong size of fish because I had confused the dab and the olive flounder. No idea how I could have made that mistake. Anyway, I ran up and down my beaches for a solid half an hour before stopping to sell my brick ovens and make my purchases. Then it was right back to fishing and oh, there's the oarfish. No luck for another 15 minutes, so I stopped to check my fossils and get my coffee. It turns out that one of my fossils was the last piece of the triceratops that I needed. So all I need is the T-Rex skull, the mammoth torso, and the saber-tooth tail, and I will have all five of my megazord fossils. 
I had just about given up on getting the olive flounder. My theory that the game will purposefully lower the odds of getting the fish that it's specifically asking you to catch feels all but confirmed at this point. All hope being lost, I cast my line and... So it turns out that the game just wants to break my spirit. Good to know. With my two times miles complete, all that there was left to do was to wait for it to get dark so that I could wish upon some stars. Unfortunately, I didn't get back to the game until after 11pm. I'm wondering if this isn't why I couldn't find Celeste on my island? Either that or shooting stars and meteor showers are different and Celeste only shows up during the latter? I don't actually know. Isabel reminded me that today was Rocket's birthday. I had completely forgotten. I still wasn't sure if I would bother giving her a gift since I don't like or care about Rocket at all. I don't think I've spoken to her outside of her having thought bubbles since like week two, but somehow she insists on living on my island. I decided to put that thought on hold so I could water my crops. While I was taking care of my pumpkins, my watering can broke. Instead of crafting one, I went and bought this cute little elephant shaped watering can from Nook's Cranny, as well as this lantern and a desk. The price of turnips has jumped to 108 a pop, so I decided to sell now before it drops again. The Able Sisters were selling the heels that I was talking about during this week's fashion quest, so I bought the black ones as my Able Sisters purchase for the day, as well as these neon tights that match my shirt. Well, sort of. The orange is a bit brighter, but it's fine. It doesn't have to be a perfect color match. It's fine. I did my stretches, checked my fossils, got some coffee. Sahara was on my island today, so I bought one of every size of rug and the mystery flooring and wallpaper. Sahara disappointed me terribly by not only giving me the dirt flooring again, but a duplicate rug as well. I don't know how many rugs there are in the game, but it feels like it's way too soon for me to be pulling repeats. I just realized as I was writing this that a different rug she gave me was the same one that I had in my spare room, but a different color. Come on, Sahara. I stopped to redecorate the living room as well. I had gotten rid of the wooden chairs that I had to make room in my storage, and now I needed some so I had to go craft them. I'm running low on regular wood now, so I'm going to have to start focusing on gathering that again as well. I hopped on a plane to Harv's Island and checked out Red Stock. Both of the art pieces he was selling were fake, so I just did a raffle pull and moved on to getting my fortune told. Since I had no real use for the fan I got from Red, I decided to give it to Rocket for her birthday. While I was in there, I came to a startling discovery. She was wearing a birthday dress, but... She was also wearing her regular jumpsuit and helmet, which is... Is that just her fur? Is... D Does Rocket just walk around on my island naked all the time? Is that... Is that... That can't be right. I started my day by watering my crops and decided to shake up my routine a little by doing my stretching immediately after. I went to check my fortune. Luckily we didn't have any fishing tasks today, so I could just take it easy for a change. I decided to clean up my Easter, I mean my bunny day decorations. I'm not sure what I'm going to replace them with yet, but I feel like I'm going to make a bigger deal about seasonal decorations once Halloween rolls around, so look forward to that. While I was hunting for fossils, I decided to head over and check out Jacob's house and... Damn, bitch, you live like this? Bamboo baskets and spheres were the hot item, so I crafted some to sell for almost no bells. I already mentioned how the selling prices work, but even so. It feels like bamboo should be more valuable than this, given how hard it is to get, relatively speaking. I made my purchases in Nook's Cranny, set this cute puppet show thingy out by my playground area, Went to check out my fossils and grab my coffee. My last two times miles task was to use my wardrobe to change my outfit, so I did that and cleared out my two times miles tasks for the day. And I didn't really have anything else that needed to get done. A pretty uneventful ending to the video all told. All that's left for me to do is to wait for the KK Slider concert, so... While I have you here, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the button that tells me so. And if you want to make sure not to miss the next one, please consider subscribing. I hope to see you all again next week. Oh, shit, wait. I forgot to buy something from the Able Sisters. Okay. Now. I will see you all again next week. Oh, 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 oh,